How's it going, guys? It's November 5th out here on Lake of the Ozarks. It's Saturday. I got a tournament tomorrow, so I'm out here doing a little bit of pre-fishing. Um, I know that sounds kind of silly when you get out here and pre-fish, but in reality, I'm trying to find out if some of these fish are still in these summer patterns because I've been catching them doing this for quite a while now. Um, it's like 65 degrees out here in the first week of November and I think these fish are still holding on a summer, summer pattern down river. Um, the closer you get to the dam, the deeper the fish seem to be. Uh, you get way up river, um, they're shallow. I mean, last weekend, fish main lake up river for about three hours and moved to the backs, came in with the third place finish. Down river, spent three hours up in the shallows and then moved out into 24 foot of water and ended up fifth. So it's like, <laughs> it's amazing how two different ends of the lake, two different bites. So um, I'm down river again because my tournament takes out PB2. So I'm going to be fishing some deep water starting out. And then I'm going to work to the backs, see what happens. Apparently a lot of the fish were caught on buzz bait and dragging jigs around channel swings and inside the coves. So I'm going to go focus on that. Fish for about for four or five hours and just see what happens. Hopefully I don't catch any giants on the spot that I might uh, might hope to catch one tomorrow. So I'm going to see what happens. Alright guys, stay tuned. I've picked up on a very constant pattern already. These fish right on the corners of the dock on the shade side so far. That one's a little more in the sun, but still sun's over there shining this way. So that's a constant pattern I've figured out, but not big fish, you know, two small Kentuckys and one small largemouth. That's not gonna win you any tournaments. So we just gotta keep on playing along. I've seen a bunch of gizzards way up shallow. On, right on the bank so I'm assuming that's where the bigger fish will probably be there's one right there a little bit better fish just like I was saying you know a bunch of gizzards right on the bank and I think that's what the bites gonna be tomorrow get up there closer to the bank you know it's not giant but it's a start Like I was saying, solid pattern right off the corner of these docks, but no size. Now I've constantly been creeping up behind these docks and trying to get a bite. And I just haven't gotten any bites. Sneaking up behind these docks. I'm in seven foot of water here. And I keep on trying. I've tried jig, worm, you know, throwing a top water up behind the docks. I just haven't had any luck getting a bite on the bottom bait. They want something moving. Haven't tried a spinner bait yet, but I'm sure there's a bite there for that as long as you hit the bank and start reeling it right away. There we go. Oh. Well, there was a big one. <sighs> that was a good one. Different type of worm. Didn't get a good hook set on it.
Well, there's going to be another fish right there. Just like that. And another little 13 incher. Nah, that one's maybe 12. But there you have it guys. There's a constant pattern right there. If you're wanting to take somebody out to catch some fish this time of year, right now, hitting all these docks on the front sides where the uprights are, right at the corner of them. You can go out here and catch dinks all day long. So if you got a kid you're trying to get involved in fishing, do that right now. It's perfect time of the year. Weather is beautiful and it's not a bad time to get out for the last few uh, few weekends before it gets really cold. So, alright guys, well, I haven't really figured out any pattern. I know what I'm not going to do tomorrow. I'm definitely not going to focus on these little bit deeper water docks. I'm going to focus on a little bit more shallow water. And uh, maybe once I get down towards the dam, fish some deeper brush piles just to give it a shot. You know, it doesn't hurt to waste about a half hour doing that because sometimes you can pick up on a pattern really quick. So, anyways guys, you have a great day. I'll see you next time.